Hi guys, William here, sitting on my jacket. So you like real estate, do you? Knowing one way or another, you want to get some. Keep hearing stories about all these rich people and how they got there with real estate. You want to get some, but how? Number one, get pre-approved. Number two, find a property. Number three, get your offer accepted. Number four, documents, money, escrow. Number five, move in, change it, it's yours. Now, you may be able to do all these steps on your own, but why not use the expertise and experience and cooperation of a great realtor? They basically work for you for free anyway as the buyer's representative, getting paid only at the end of the escrow by the seller. <laughs> so, obviously, your success is their success. Through your skilled realtor, he or she will be charming and cooperative to find out what exactly the seller wants. Who does he want for escrow, for title? Is there a tenant in there that he doesn't want to evict? It's very important information for you to know. Next, in order to get your offer accepted and beat out all the other competing offers, whose prices may be higher than yours, make a larger upfront deposit. Your excellent realtor should be able to find out how many offers they have already on the property, whether the seller's countering one time or whether he's asking for your highest and best offer. Important. Also, you can write a heartfelt letter. It's true. Real estate is an emotional game. Statistics of the recent solds along with the communication with the listing agent, you will be able to come up with a price. You could remove all your contingencies, which means no home inspections, no zoning, no full lender approval, <laughs> which means if it doesn't close, you'll probably lose your deposit. You don't want that. What I would advise is to reduce the days of the inspection from seven or maybe five days. That shows the sellers that you're decisive and, and serious and they won't have to wait another two weeks to find out whether or not you drop out or not. So your good realtor will have a nice clean package, clean offer, pre-approval letter, heartfelt letter, his cover letter or her cover letter, all in a nice, clean, serious package. You could also show them that you already have a pre-approval letter, but that you would gladly be pre-approved by their preferred lender. That way, it shows you're confident that the financing won't fall through and that it gives them an opportunity. In the end, the sellers and their listing agent want to feel that they got a fair price by good people who are cooperative, buyers who are serious and well represented. Thank you. I hope you gained some insight on what it takes to get your offer accepted. Thanks. See you next time. And remember, like it if you liked it, but don't if you don't.